Hey everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We're at the SAP for Utilities event in Singapore, and with me I have Chit Sen from Singapore Power. Uh, Chit, you were talking a little bit about uh, the SAP implementation, but also we wanted a little bit of a chat about the consolidated billing that you've got going. Can you tell us a bit about that first? Okay, um, in Singapore we are the Market Support Services Licensee. What that means is uh, we take care of billing customer management uh, for the entire electricity market. Now, um, <coughs> that also requires us to uh, provide services, not just to uh, the uh, electricity people, but also the gas uh, consumers. Uh, on top of that, we do provide a service to the uh, water people and the uh, refuse collectors. Now, um, as part and parcel of our implementation, we have <coughs> consolidated all our billing into the same engine, and therefore Singaporean customers have only got one bill to take care of. Very nice. Right. Very nice. And you talk about your, your rollout of your SAP solution yes. in, in your talk this morning. Can you, t can you tell us a bit about that again? No. Um, that successful uh, implementation requires us to pay attention to a few things. Essentially, you have to talk about, uh, you have to focus on people, processes, uh, the system itself, and uh, more importantly, you have to have a framework to manage the entire project. Um, it all starts with having the right framework, uh, the right uh, governance of the project itself, so as to ensure that uh, you have policies in place to plan, to monitor, and to control the progress of the project. Okay. Um, the other thing that I always focus on is having project sponsorship or ownership. Uh, projects, in my mind, are not IT projects. You'd have to have it looked upon as a business project. Therefore, it will then deliver business value to you. So it's a, it's a business project which happens to have an IT component as opposed to an IT project yes. with a business component. Yes, that's right, because IT is supposed to help deliver business benefits, not the other way around. Okay, and the, the ownership you talked about, mm -hmm. it's that the organization rolling out the project needs mm -hmm. to have needs to take responsibility for the outcomes. Yes, that's right. That's okay. Right. Any other learnings from it? Uh, more importantly, uh, if you are engaging an SI to do a huge project, you'd have to select the right SI. And you'd have to look at the SI as a partner to you, not subservient to you, not someone whom you can abdicate everything to. That's really, really important. Selecting the right SI, knowing what the uh, SI can do or cannot do. And more importantly, uh, you'd have to make sure that you uh, have a very clear set of deliverables that the SI is supposed to provide. Okay, great. Chitan, that's been fantastic. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you.